Hey everybody, how you guys doing? I'm doing all right. All right, I found this thing for uh, from Syria, and these are not political posts. These are actually from where are they from? Pop Science and Science Alert. So these are as real as it gets. Uh, what this is actually saying is that things are getting so bad in Syria, folks. The doomsday shelter had to be open to give. Syria crops so that they can help replant everything. This is the first time in human history this has actually happened. And this is bad, folks. This is bad. Okay? Here are photos of the guys coming out. You know, I don't know how much they're, you know, they're taken out or anything. But Syrian war has caused the first ever withdrawal from the Doomsday Seed Vault. And from popular science, Syria makes first withdrawal from Arctic Doomsday Seed Vault. So, this is getting bad, folks. This is getting stupid bad. So, let me read what you got here. This is from Science Alert. I'll read Science Alert first, even though it's not the most aesthetic looking. The Middle East needs crops. Uh, civil war in Syria has prompted the first withdrawal of Arctic Doomsday Vault, a seed storage unit built on an island between Norway and the North Pole to safeguard the world's food supply in the event of a global catastrophe, such as an outbreak of disease of nuclear war. Uh, now, there's kind of something weird going on here, folks, and I'm just going to put this up there and say it. Um, you know, everybody said that there was going to be a large event September 23, 2014. There's no nukes. There's no rampant diseases we're aware of. If this is it, this is a shady freaking result of what was supposed to be nuclear winter. I know it's the 24th, but hey, what can you do, right? Right. Anyways. The civil war in Syria is prompt. Yep, okay, I already did this. Do, do, do. Research in the Middle East have now asked to withdraw a range of drought resistant crop seeds, including wheat, barley, and grasses, from the vault. They would usually get the seeds from the facility in Aleppo, Syria, but even though the seeds are still there and safe in cold storage, the scientists are unable to access them as a result of damage to the surrounding buildings caused by the war. So, this is coming from Popular Science. Uh, the Svelbard Global Seed Vault, that's what it's called, is the world's insurance against worst-case scenarios. Since the seed vault opened in the, f in the far north of Norway in 2008, hundreds of thousands of seeds have been deposited in the facility situated in the Arctic wilderness, a rainy day fund for the world's food supply. And it turns out that the country already needs to make a withdrawal. That one country needs to make a withdrawal. The seeds are a backup copy of crops around the globe so that if something truly terrible happens, the future, like disease, drought, war, the country can rebuild its food supply. For, uh, for Syria, the unfortunate future is now. The civil war there has devastated the country, causing refugees to flee toward Europe in the thousands. Country's infrastructure is unstable at best, and its own seed banks were was forced to leave the country to prevent it from being utterly destroyed. Now I'm gonna read this next one because I didn't read this part from the other one, and this has some uh, information that I'd like to put out there. The director of Syria's seed bank program, the International Center of Agricultural Research in Dry Areas, ICARTA, managed to get many of the country's seeds out of the country, moving them to Aleppo, Syria, uh, into Beirut, Lebanon back in 2012 as armed forces started to move in. They then sent seeds to Turkey and Lebanon and the uh, Svalbard bank, uh, Seed Bank that's in over there, where they're getting it from, for safety. But they still need more seeds to reestablish crops lost during the war and continuing research. Now they've requested the return of 130 boxes. All right, so now we have an actual number. 116,000 seeds 
from the uh, Svelbard location. God, okay, I, I want to read this next one too. Please, YouTube, please don't kick this. This is this is information we all need to hear. Uh, Salvi Litzberg, the uh, the Norwegian Minister of Agriculture and Food, told Norwegian told Norwegian newspaper VG the Syrian group wants some of the seeds back in order to plant and harvest this fall. Seeds from those plants will then be returned back to uh, Svalbard. So they're going to use the seeds from the plants that are being planted to return to the location in the Arctic. That sounds good. Blistog said the seeds will be sent to other countries in the Middle East since Syria is still affected by war, but for security reasons, we're, we will not say where. Earlier this year, as plans for the seed withdrawal are being drawn up, the creator of the Svalbard Bank, Kerry Fowler, told Australian news company ABC that Syrian, need, or Syrian Seed Bank would likely be reestablished in Morocco or Lebanon. So this is amazing, folks. This is like global catastrophe. But I understand that it's not on a level of a nuke. But this is some shit going on, folks. This is bad.